Today, we're going to be doing a pasta that's probably well overdue. We're going to be doing a bolognese ragu. And a bolognese sauce originated from the region of Bologna. And I'm actually showing you the way that I know is the most authentic. No, no garlic, uh, no basil, no parsley, no oregano. We're doing it the way that it was originally intended to be. And I'm going to show you how to make it. ingredients we're going to be using one onion three stalks of celery four carrots one glass of milk one glass of wine 170 grams of tomato paste one can of San Marzano tomatoes one can of passata or one liter of passata egg tagliatelle and we're going to use a pound of veal a pound of pork and a pound of 80 20 ground chuck and some salt and pepper and extra virgin olive oil all right our first step is to put about four or five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a nice big uh, pot i'm just using a standard stainless stainless steel pot so just good bit of olive oil here and I'm going to spread it in the pan. And then what we're going to do is start cooking our sofrito. So we got onions, carrots, and celery. Whoa. And I have about four carrots and three stalks of celery and then one onion. So we're going to let that cook for a little bit. So, as you can see, the carrots, onions, and celery in here, they're all cooking. Once we get these cook started and cooked, then we're going to add our uh, beef. We got all equal parts of meat, so we have 80-20 ground chuck a pound, a pound of ground veal, and a pound of ground pork. So this is going to be our 80-20 our, uh, ground chuck, our beef. This is going to be our ground pork, and this is going to be our ground veal. Our meat in here, and we're going to actually break it up. We're going to break it up like so. Okay, so we're we're still mixing our meat together we're breaking it up and what we're going to do is cook it until it's all gray we don't want any of uh, this red consistency that we have here Looks good, man, Genzo. Thank you. This is opening up a can. We're actually doing a really good tomato today. Uh, we're doing DOP San Marzano Rosa tomatoes. And then I also have some Laval Passada. And then I got uh, about 170 grams of tomato paste. So once you have all your meat uh, gray or you know just about close to that now we're ready to add our wine so we're gonna add our wine and we're gonna let this evaporate remember you don't want alcohol in the tomatoes you want alcohol in the meat now we're ready to add our tomatoes our tomato paste so we're gonna add our tomato paste oh see if we can Get all of it out of here. Now we're gonna add our San Marzano tomatoes. We're also gonna add our passata. 
And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna get a little water in here to clean out the bottle. We're gonna shake this up here and we're gonna put the rest of it in there. And this is something where the longer you cook it, the better. Uh, we're probably going to be cooking this for about four hours, four or five hours. And we're going to be mixing it with the tagliatelle pasta. All right, so I'm going to put a good bit of pepper. As you can see, I put a good bit of pepper in there, good bit of salt. If, and if you need to add more pepper or salt at any time, you can. Just keep in mind, if you put pepper or salt in, you can't remove it. Enjoy a nice glass of wine of your choice. Today I'm doing a Chardonnay. Okay, so once you see your sauce start to dry out, add a little bit of water. Now remember, this could be cooking for four hours. So this is just going to end up, you know, basically just cooking off into the sauce. But it'll dry out if you don't put water in periodically. All right, so now we're actually, towards the end, now we're putting the milk in the sauce. Just to add that extra layer of creaminess. We're just using whole milk, just a glass of whole milk. You can see, it'll make it creamier. All right, so this is gonna be a five minute cook for the egg tagliatelle, and then we're gonna put this into the sauce later, you'll see. I'm just gonna, this is uh, a pound of pasta. All right, so now our pasta's done. We're gonna actually just take it and strain it here. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're actually going to take our pasta here, get a little bit of our sauce here, okay, okay. And then we're gonna get more of our sauce. Come in with more sauce. Now we're gonna get our sauce here. Oh, spill a little bit, it's okay. So we're gonna come in with a little bit of pasta water here. And we're gonna mix. We're gonna come in and flip it. Come in maybe a little bit more. you're a sauce lover like me, get a good bit of sauce. Flip it, if you can. Sometimes it can be a little difficult. Make 
sure it's all stirred in there good. All right, and this is our bolognese right here. We're gonna add a little bit more sauce. Again, because I'm a saucy person. I'll turn the heat off. Add a little bit more sauce. And we're also going to add a little bit of cheese here. This is how bolognese ragu is supposed to be done. If you're new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would be highly appreciated.